So guys, now I've done a little video on my thoughts and put some clips together for you. You might like it, you might not. If you do like it, thumbs up, share it. Um, there might be a second video after this and uh, you'll sort of see what I'm thinking here. But ultimately I'm going to talk about the Lisbon Treaty as well. Now there's some concerns about that, but first I'll do these clips and I'll get into the Lisbon Treaty later. Nice to be nice, don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs down, share it if you like it. Let people know we want out of the EU. The British people have voted to leave the European Union. And their will must be respected. And their will must be respected. And their will must be respected. And I have always said, no, 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 no deal is better than a bad deal. What I have said is that no deal would be better than a bad deal. But I am not prepared. But I am not prepared. But I am not prepared to delay Brexit any further than the 30th of June. So, guys, furious Brexiteers say Theresa May must quit now, which she can't quit now because she's got to wait till Halloween. This is the reason why. Quite me. She can only fly at Halloween. We know that. She should have been gone a long time ago. This is my opinion. Um, unfortunately, she's hanging on and she's doing her bidding and, or you will see, they're all in it together. I mean, we're all in it together. Oh no, that's them, isn't it? They're in it together. We're the plebs that pay for it. On the eve of the conference, on the eve of the election, I told this conference, we're all in this together. Yes. They're in it together. Look at them together. They're in it. Oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? Talking about what they're going to do with the pensions. They're in it together. I had to put this bit in. Just because they are splitters. Hear me, Corbyn! And yes, now they're going to have talks with uh, Mr. Corbyn. And obviously, they're also in it together. Opposition leaders in it together. Mr Speaker, I welcome the Prime Minister's offer for talks following the meetings that I've held with members across this House and look forward to meeting her later today and I welcome her willingness to compromise to resolve the Brexit deadlock. Yeah. Mr Speaker, when the Prime Minister sits down later this afternoon with my right honourable friends, the Leader of the Opposition and the Shadow Brexit Secretary, she will hear no doubt that Labour's policy on Brexit is to secure membership of a customs union, the single market and, crucially, to get a people's vote on any deal. Now what Owen Smith's just said, well, that's not exactly what the Brexit was about, is it? That is sort of the anti-Brexit. That is wanting to keep all the things what we don't want. We want to get out and start afresh, make no deal, and then negotiate. It's easy, isn't it, really? Although no deal is now off the table by law. What's that all about? <laughs> Most people play cards like that, don't they? Me plays cards like that. Stupid. If she accepts that compromise, she can pass her deal and leave office. So guys, some people were talking about the Lisbon Treaty to me and saying that we might be tied in to have to have the Euro in 2020-2022 if we don't actually get an exit. Now this is the UK independent fact-checking charity. How accurate it is, I cannot say. I've done some searches, but this is the one I've found that gives me a little bit of information. But again, check it out yourselves. And that's the only thing I can say, you know. But there's certain things like uh, staying in, like a minute, with the... With the um, yeah, with the euro. Let me just find this little bit here. All members have become new federal nations. Now, I, I would recommend looking at this and see what they say, you know. But 
what this actually basically said is that UK and Denmark have opt out for joining yeah and also for joining the currency now there's a but there's always a but isn't there opt outs well that's if our cowardly politicians decide to opt out if they're told not to opt out by their leaders in the EU will they stay in and then will we be tied that's the other point that is what would worry me most even if we have got an opt out will we be able to now it looks like we're doing European elections so everybody vote for anti-EU um, candidates and at best we can just give them hell from inside you know what I mean until we do get out biggest problem is is if we take May's deal then we'll still be under their control but have no say you know absolutely no say not that they listen in the EU Parliament but as I say check this out check any information you can get any information you can get post it to me on in comments you know I read all comments uh, I try to answer as many as I can last couple of videos I had a lot a lot of comments and a lot of stupid ones <laughs> <laughs> but you get them don't you but as I say check this out you can see the name of the thing the name UK independent fact-checking charity say anybody who finds anything else I'll put it into a video I did also see a link that we were supposed to be out anyway due to the the, the process of the first extension wasn't legal it wasn't passed properly and there are lawmakers trying to do something about that I've not heard very much from it since so that's about all we can do I'll just throw you another clip here at end of how I'm thinking uh, the meeting with the French went I might do a full video on that it'll be short but funny probably thanks a lot nice to be nice so you think you could out clever us French folk with your silly knees bent running about advancing behavior I'll wave my private parts at your aunties you cheesy lot of second-hand electric donkey bottom biter so guys I'll leave it at that don't forget thumbs up share it if you like it and uh, I'll do a little bit of bit more work on the, the French meeting Nice to be nice.